the highlights is that always we are used to thinking and talking about problems as in today but the scale of the problems that we are facing today is because we did not act upon it yesterday so we have to act on a fast track on many of the initiatives it's a foxy's call for action from innovation to implementation and we start acting now and reap the results of building a healthy generation 10 years from now we've said 10 years because the country is too big the scale of the problem is also massive and we need to keep doing redoing learning unlearning from our own experiences because the same strategy does not work the same way successfully in every part of the country so it's been a great learning experience but it has also been impactful so innovation to implementation to make an impact if not now or if we begin action now we make an impact in 10 years from now that is our vision for 2022 we want to see the women free of anemia we want to see the women to take their own decisions for the number of children that they have we want to see the burden of cancer cervix reduced we also want to see india not as a diabetic capital of the world but as a diabetic care and cure capital so that is the vision the a b and c and d Foxy has been working on many more areas beyond the ABCD, but just for the ease of coining the four focus areas. A is the care for the adolescent, especially the adolescent anemia and contraception and adolescent obesity. B is building contraceptive choices, that is to give her some method of contraception as soon as she delivers. That is a big project going on in many centers in the country. C is cancer cervix. both the vaccination and screening for cancer cervix is being strengthened d is the diabetes gestational diabetes mellitus care and e is the etc because the abcd doesn't end there e with the etc many many more issues inclusive the of the burning issues of yesterday that is preventing every needless death and saving every single mother who can be saved so we need to reach the care there across all age groups to strengthen and save the mothers of today and the daughters of today have to groom into a better and a healthier and a more empowered and education educated generation for tomorrow that's the vision for 2022 the response of the government is extremely proactive uh, umashri who has recently got into the position of the minister for women and child health welfare has been consented to be our chief guest this evening she'll be here by 6 pm at the inaugural event and every project that we put forth for there is a lot of support and they're very proactive and they're happy for us to partner with them to do a lot more in the state of karnataka